All right, it's day 23 of this series, and as you can see, I have two bath towers with uh, weight plates holding everything down and supporting the clamp lamps, all four of which are pointed towards my sweet onion cylinder. And I have this sun choke series. Make sure to check that out if you haven't already. Uh, most people don't know what sun chokes are. So those are growing tubers. And in the middle here, I have poured out all of this just now. The water level was up to here. It's pretty nasty as you can see. Let's see, uh, this is just all moldy. And yeah, that's, that's pretty rancid looking, but you know, as I've learned, none of that matters because those layers are meant to be used as food batteries for these bulbs that are developing inside. And you know, afterwards they'll just have no nutrients or water left in them. The mold will subside eventually. At least that's my opinion. And, you know, we still have a refusal of root development over here. This looks pretty yellow. Maybe I soaked it too long. I mean, these were in standing water. Granted, the hydrogen peroxide is still active. But um, this bulb is really fat. It's probably going to do the same thing this did, which is, um, you know, all that bulb mass will just go into the leaves as they elongate. This thing is, you know, maybe... Uh, two centimeters away from the top so eventually I won't even be able to have that lid uh, like this I have to flip it completely open if I let the series continue for that long and these roots look okay I mean some of the new roots um, looked a little yellowish before I poured everything out so I'm just gonna let this air out for the remainder of today but to help with this mold Maybe I'll just pour some direct 3% hydrogen peroxide from the top and listen to everything fizz for a while. So, you know, this could potentially damage the leaves, but these are tough, waxy leaves. So let's see, do I have a good camera angle? I just want to get something that's not going to be wavy, but looks like that's not going to happen. So honestly, I don't know if this does anything um, other than keep the smell fresh. You know, hydrogen peroxide can help neutralize a lot of horrible odor molecules. It's day 25. There's been a lot of foliar growth. Seems like onions are constantly in a state of producing dead brown thin layers on the outside to protect the living tissue underneath. And this has just a ton of leaves. You know, it looks like at least eight. Sometimes those uh, little wedges on the side don't work out. I think that was one of them here. And the roots look okay after letting this dry out for two days. You know, this thing has a lot of mold. It's just really gross, but I think it'll be okay. Root ball is clearly functioning. You know, I do that and wet the root balls and that has a lot of mold as well but you know the foliar growth is still coming along pretty well I have an old friend here the miracle grow watering can singles um, you know this is mostly just a nitrogen with a lot of potassium and tons of phosphate as well so this is the regular, you know, foliage growth kind. And I've already pinched open a package. And I'm gonna pour in just some crystals, but not too many. Maybe down the side, you know. Yeah, something like that. So I don't want to burn the leaves, uh, burn the plants with too much in the way of fertilizer, but, and I know I've got these fertilizer pellets in there, but those are really slow dissolving. So I think this could help a little bit. This will turn blue eventually and 
you know, I'll spray a little bit to get that off or whatever. I'll just wash it off right now. And seems like there's a crystal stuck to it, but. So I think I'll keep things like this for a while. You know, I do have some problems, like a lot of mold, but it's not growing on the living tissue. Like I said, it's just going to keep decomposing all those uh, used layers until they wither away and there's nothing to eat. And I'll just keep watering like this, you know, maybe once in the morning, once at night. And that should be sufficient. There's a lot of mold at the bottom of that as well, but... You know, I think I washed some of that away. It's not really going to affect things in the long run, I feel. And mold has always been a big problem with my onion growing, but, you know, maybe it's just a fact of life. If you bury these in dirt, you just won't see it. And I hope with a fertilizer that can provide, you know, all the micronutrients and, you know, nitrogen that these need to start growing even faster.